Cause it's just loose lips I try better than I sing So go ahead and enjoy So we all sort of produce in effect Harry plays drums and Jack plays bass but on all of our songs, there's probably only one that have got actual drums on them. Maybe three that have got bass on them. You know, I'm a guitar player, but there's probably guitar on two tunes. So a lot of it is, you know, chopping up samples and nicking bits from other tunes that we like and playing them backwards and sticking them in and, and just sort of experimenting with stuff and making weird noises and a lot of a lot of synthesizers and keyboards and stuff like that. And it's it's away from that traditional band element of how you make music you know we're not in a room on instruments thinking okay this is the chorus this is this bit we're literally just just like cutting up bits of newspaper and putting them back together again and trying to make something that works but then that becomes it seems really that hard. free it seems that free like you know in the videos that you post up i'm sure i've seen you like not as far as cracking eggs but stuff as random as that where you you know you've been recording those sounds and putting it through and looping it and spinning it backwards and that yeah i mean record anything if if something sounds good if your fridge door closes in a certain way because everyone is using you know stuff like splice and sample packs in the same drum machines and everyone's snare drums sound the same so if you can find something that sounds a little bit weird a little bit different then then bang it in anything that's going to make you stand out i suppose is is good it doesn't have to be the best quality thing ever it could be smashing two cd boxes together if that's a drum, then it's a drum. Play it. The The difficulty is then when we come to try and play it live because it's pretty much all, you know, a electronic recording. Trying to get that across then on guitars, bass and drums, pianos, whatever, is it's difficult. So it's a totally different set, I think, when you come and see us play than it is what you listen to. Could you not use one of those sample keypads? I could, but I'd need another hand. I'd need a couple more arms to play it. So it's it's a toss up between getting more people involved, which is fine and it's great. But because me and um, and Harry and Jack have lived together and we know each other and we do the same things all the time and stuff like that, it's very difficult to bring somebody in who's going to sit with the vibe perfectly they're always going to feel a little bit of an outsider, I think, in that relationship, which is not always fair. So I suppose it's, it doesn't matter if it's different. You know, it can be different and that's fine. And I think we make it different on purpose. So if, you know... If you well, come, when you're live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you come and see us play, it'll be a totally different thing altogether. And it'll probably be totally different the week after for whoever comes to see us then. Because we're just sort of... We're just kind of doing it. it up, really. We don't really know what we're doing. We're just doing it. We're just like, oh, we've got a gig on. So, oh, fuck, yeah, great, let's do it. And then afterwards, it was like, oh, that was good. We'll do that again. Or we'll try and do it again, but it'll happen a bit different next time. You know, do you think um, any live recordings could go out with any of the releases to show the, the varying differences between the two styles and how it grows? Uh, eventually, yeah. Obviously, we've got we've to get out and do them before we can get any of them. So that, that might be a while off, unfortunately. We've got a couple of live sessions that we've done um, in the locker, but we want to get out and, and play again, just the same as everybody else does. So it'll be a little while before that happens yet, but eventually at some point. Cause it's just loose lips.